We got a group of dogs um, that all came in and were all special needs. Um, the staff was encouraging everyone to go meet the dogs to help socialize with them. I didn't see Skipper when he first arrived. When he first came in, he was really matted. You couldn't even see his face. He was super defensive. He wouldn't let people get near him. We could not tell his body condition and we couldn't read his body language and he seemed uncomfortable. So after he was groomed, he just seemed more comfortable and more happy and a brighter little dog. So when Skipper and his friends arrived, we offered about six of them a Kong toy stuffed with cheese. And that was our way of judging how they would do with new things, how scared they were. And they amazed us. Every single dog approached the Kong toy and Skipper was the most interested. The first time I worked with Skipper on actual formal training with a clicker was about 15 minutes before my lunch break. And he was so amazing that I cut my lunch break short and came back to work with him again. He was so interested, so smart, and just phenomenal, and one of the most exciting dogs I've worked with in a long time. Yes, you do get cookies. You do. Cookies for the good boy. All right, let's go. So I decided to foster Skipper because he was making so much progress as a single dog, um, getting one-on-one -on -one attention, and I felt like being able to continue that in a home would be in his best interest. I was amazed at how easy he was and how much fun he was and how brave he was. He might be a little nervous about something, but he was willing to try it and then he would come back for reassurance and then he would just knock it out of the ballpark the next time. Skipper had no idea what to do with toys in the beginning because he probably didn't have them in his home. So we started with a ball and he watched it roll away and had no idea what to do. So I got a cat toy on a pole and he started chasing the cat toy and he figured out after that, okay, this is what it's all about. And then that became his favorite thing. Also, I played music for him when I was fostering him and he was not into the calming music at all. He's a very lively, sparkly little dog. So at playtime, we would put on disco music and that seemed to really strike a chord with him. No pun intended. <laughs> It only took about a month between when Skipper arrived matted and gremlin growling to when we shot his horsey cowboy clip. And actually teaching him the tricks in the video only took two days. Wave if you're a cowboy. Okay, find your little horsey. Yay! The key factor in Skipper's progress was play and training, because um, he thrived on training, and play just brought out his natural bubbly personality. And really, he learned to have this great relationship with people, and he transferred that to other people. I am not somebody <laughs> that has worked with him before. Very good. So that's what's even off, more awesome. The training and behavior work we do at Best Friends is highly individualized to each dog, so I think once we figure out what works for each dog, many of the dogs have the potential to make progress as quickly as Skipper did. We felt Skipper would do best going to a family that understood his background and were willing to take the time to work with him through any issues that would come up in the home. My parents had been thinking about getting another dog, so when I saw Skipper, I thought he might be a really good match because he's adorable and cute and scruffy. I started sending my mom pictures and she fell in love immediately and the rest is history. Skipper was a very special dog and it only took him one day less than two months before he was on his way to his forever home. Mm -hmm.